Hello and welcome to Tech Post. I'm Ravi and in this video I will show you top 6 uses of Android on the go which is also known as USB OTG or simply OTG cable which allows other USB devices to connect with your Android phone and extend device functionality. But do you know OTG cable is capable of doing lot more than just transferring data? Well, this video is all about best uses of OTG cable which you probably don't know. So let's get started. If you own a DSLR with non-rotating display or if you are planning to buy an external display for the detailed live view, then this hack will definitely going to help you and mostly to my fellow YouTubers. With the help of an OTG cable or the adapter, one can use Android device as an external display and can even control all the settings, for example aperture, shutter speed, ISO with just few taps. Not only that, it can capture photos, help you focus on the subject precisely, record videos and you can even view captured photos, videos and delete them if you don't like them. There are several apps available on the Play Store but most of the compatible and working apps are paid. For example, the CamCap, DSLR controller, etc. But I am using the QDSLR dashboard app, which is also a paid app but works perfectly fine with my D5200. I tried DSLR controller and CamCap also, but they doesn't work with this model. Now just like the DSLR, one can also connect an external microphone to record voice in Android. This is also something which most YouTubers will find very helpful. Users can connect the external microphone onto the Android using OTG cable and can record it using any third party voice recording app, for example Rackforge. I use this Zoom H1 audio recorder and it works pretty fine. No extra settings required. All you need is an OTG adapter or a OTG cable. Now this is the technique which Android users will love to utilize as this allows you to charge two smartphones. The phone which acts as the USB host will automatically charge the other device. This technique comes very handy if you need to charge your phone in an emergency situation. All you need is an OTG cable or the adapter and your Android charging USB cable. Also with the help of the Samsung Smart Switch app, you can transfer messages, call logs, contacts and much more between Android devices with the help of OTG cable. Now this is very useful when you change to a new phone and it also consumes very less battery. If you love playing games on mobile devices, you probably know how boring it is to play first person shooting that is the FPS games in an Android device. So I use this Red Gear game controller which works both on PC and Android. Nowadays many Android games support external gamepad and you can easily connect an external game controller to your device using OTG cable. This Red Gear wireless controller is available for just 1150 rupees on Amazon. To watch full review of this controller, click here or use the link given in the description. Now the best thing about this controller is that this doesn't require any third party app to configure or map keys for different games. It's hassle free plug and play game controller. If you don't like to navigate your Android device or if you use messaging apps like WhatsApp and Facebook a lot, then a wireless mouse and keyboard will definitely help you to exchange messages quickly. You can connect your USB mouse and keyboard with your Android device using OTG cable. Now this is something which most people won't use but we thought to include this in our top uses of OTG. Reason being say if you want to connect your Android with your TV via HDMI and in that case a wireless mouse and keyboard will come handy and will definitely going to help you quickly navigate your Android device. On mouse, when you right click it will navigate you one step back. In other words, right mouse click acts as a back navigation button. 
then there are these shortcuts that are really useful for example control c or v to copy and paste and similarly alt plus tab to switch between apps quickly just like in windows and i think these reasons are probably good enough to use a wireless mouse and keyboard on an android device so what do you think about this please comment below Nowadays people use portable bluetooth wireless speakers but did you know that your android device also supports usb speakers you can connect any usb speaker to your android device and listen to your favorite music as long as your android is on i have this old philips usb soundbar i purchased 6 year back and this works very well sound quality is just great similar to when connected to a pc or a laptop but the best thing about this USB soundbar is that it consumes very less battery power which is something I didn't expected at all. I thought my device battery won't last for long but uh, when I played music for 13 minutes it consumed 2% battery only and that is really impressive. All you need is an OTG cable or adapter and just plug and play. You don't need any extra app to enable USB soundbar. Beside this, you can also use your Android OTG to print, connect internet via Ethernet or LAN and transfer data to external storage devices and vice versa. Now if you know any interesting way to use OTG other than what I have described already, please share with us and also let me know what you think about this video. Do subscribe to our channel for more such videos and hit like if you like this video. I will be back with another interesting video soon. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful time.